Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. You're making money. And like some of these big companies, um, like um, Mercedes, Siemens, SAP, General Motors, Ford, they make money by accident because they have such inertia. They have so, you know, so many deals. And that's what happens. They have, you know, this inertia and you can't stop it. But the, the, the challenge is to get the momentum going, old mo going to begin with. Because so it takes a lot of, uh, you know, get that old flywheel uh, in the first revolution, uh, the second revolution. And, uh, but once you get it going, guys, again, for, 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 it's like, you know, taking candy from a baby. And I, when I first took my, I, didn't, I gave my grandchildren candy. I never took it from them. But I think of that when I'm, you know, helping them to get on their sugar high. Uh, the, uh, yeah, your hands up. Um, so it's like exponential growth. So, so this one. Yeah. But no, it's even, it's, no, it's exponential from the beginning. Because with no money, you're, you're earning roughly a million to your account. A short million. 850 to 950. Okay. And then by the second deal, you've got uh, equity of uh, a million and a half. And by the fifth, you got equity of four million with no money. So, that, that, you know, that return is infinite. But it's, it's not arithmetic. It's not two plus two plus two. It's two squared times two squared. Is there a stop? Hmm? Is there any way? Oh, well, no. Well, I stop. You know, you, you get lazy. You take your foot off the accelerator. Uh, you get caught with your secretary uh, blowing you under the desk. Your wife, or uh, whoever the fuck you got, uh, uh, sues. I mean, I've seen it all. And uh, you know, a stiff dick has no conscience. I mean, they just don't. I mean, guys, they get crazy. They get planes. Uh, one of my young kids uh, got a plane, uh, G2 kind of plane. This was years ago. Uh, he, uh, he came here from Oxford. He graduated from Oxford, came here. Oh, excuse me, came. No, Oxford, yeah. Um, and I said, well, uh, you ought to go to Silicon Valley and never come home. Change your name. He did exactly that. He ripped out, I don't know, maybe three or four hundred million dollars. The first deal, second deal, a couple hundred million. Got a plane. Uh, this is just when YouTube was starting. And he's showing girls sucking his balls on YouTube and says, uh, I learned this at the Castle Man, from the Castle Man. The... Uh, the newspaper reporters are, did you, did you know this kid? And I go, yeah. <laughs> well, what did you teach him? I said, I didn't teach him that. I said, uh, and then he went and bid on, uh, this was the fir uh, first, not first Gulf War, second, well, second Gulf War. He bid on the green zone for um, security contracts, green zone. He doesn't know shit. He's got a degree from Oxford in paleontology or something. And he won the bid. He then hired G4 to do, the, they were the largest security firm in the world at the time, to do the contract. But I think, uh, one of you YouTubers can correct me, I think the contract was for seven or eight hundred million. And he paid G4, I don't know, a couple hundred million. Then there was a con congressional investigation. How did this 22-year-old kid who didn't know Dick, and then he, won, he bid the contract again, and he won it again? Because legend has it, the government was so embarrassed that they gave him a second contract. Now, he's not saying that Castleman showed me how to get a blowjob in a G2 anymore. I'm, I'm history, but thankfully. Uh, he tried to hire a big security firm to take the second contract, and they said, fuck you, we're taking the whole contract, here's 50 million, go get lost. One of my boys. It's easy, I keep telling you, it's easy fucking peasy. Now, he wasn't a meathead, though, he was a smart kid. Smart kid. And now he runs a big hedge fund in Boston. He went to MIT to get a, I think he's got a PhD from MIT now. 
and he's just ripping, slashing, killing, crushing it. I don't know if you... Chris, are you using seller's finance? If you hear this, give me a, a fucking email. But what, these guys, when they make a lot, I never hear from them again. Other than reporters come and say, did you really teach them how to get a blowjob in a G2? They forget the old man. That's fine. I don't need any of that publicity for, uh, for sure. He, he didn't sit in this room. He sat in that room. Anything else? Yes, sir. Uh, when you uh, you understand the collateral now? Yeah, I understood. Understood. But the example was uh, clear. Uh, Thank you. And uh, what you say about these kids that are getting this money? You know, uh, for instance, that guy Josh uh, who flies in a private plane. Does he pay the plane with his, his own money, or does the company I can, pay for it? I I, I I can't say that because I don't know. But I will tell you tomorrow, Friday, the last day. What, what day of the week is this? Wednesday. Okay. And two days, this time, two days from now, I will tell you that to run the company cleanly, without your personal expenses, uh, you should have audits uh, from reputable firms from the very beginning. Uh, it's easier to get money with uh, big accounting firm audits. And uh, you can't run the company as you've run your previous companies, your previous life. Because that ultimately catches up with you. Uh, he should not be paying for company money. Uh, the um, I don't, you know, even though I'm, I'm not going public, we, we have very strict audit rules, uh, accounting rules here. Uh, I don't live off the, uh, the company's assets. I, I live off my own. Um, but not many people do that. Not many people do that. But um, I've been to court enough where they're going through my personal accounts or when I got thrown out of uh, Great Western, and they alleged that I sold, sold tens of millions and I diverted this, I diverted that. After an, uh, a forensic audit by, uh, I believe, uh, Ian Y, I think, I don't remember now. This is 25 years ago. Um, for nine, uh, for uh, nine years of being CEO of a public company, they could not account for 1,100 bucks. So maybe I stole 1,100 bucks. And uh, I still don't believe, because I kept strict uh, accounting every time I spent any money. But they couldn't uh, account for 1,100 bucks in nine years. And that, that's not enough to indict you. Still pisses me off, though. Where, who took the money, Murph? Who took the $1,000? Could have, uh, could have been Amazon, you know, you could have bought a book. Like yeah, a, well, a book. I mean, fuck. <laughs> the, uh, 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 some smart ass said, Dan, don't you remember that tip you gave the hooker? And I said, no, I don't remember that. <laughs> the, um, and I wouldn't have been so cheap, only a thousand bucks. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, but you, uh, it, this is easy peasy. It's easy to finance these deals. It's easy to finance. Anything else before we move on? Okay.